I can see there's branches, so there's very thin branches and they're very easy to see on the screen, which is really nice. Looks, got it? Yeah. I'm going to put it up. Oh, it actually so good. Hello everybody, my name's Paul Tace. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Drone Mask 2. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you go through some of my older videos, you'll find the most popular ones are either me crashing my drone or uh, hacks on goggles for drones. So whenever I used to fly my drones, I always wanted to be able to see like a VR experience, have the first person experience, uh, but you generally can't do that easily with DJI drones. There are a few hacks you could do. For example, with the Mini, you can get other software such as Litchi, but it will only work with the Mini or the Mini 2 on Android. So for any other drones from DJI, uh, it pretty much rules out that software. Uh, the only other alternative would be to put a little camera on your drone and then get some really expensive headsets like the DJI ones, so I think about £600 or so. And then you attach the camera to your drone and then you can see through that camera into your DJI goggles. Uh, however, with that setup, it's, if you've got something that's just under 250 grams, it's going to push you over the 250 gram mark. So to date, the best solution I have found for flying uh, your drone with a mask or goggles on is the Drone Mask 2. Uh, now this Drone Mask 2 has been sent to me for free to do a review on and I was really excited about this. Now I say that uh, for transparency reasons, but also if there's something that I don't believe in or a product I don't think is very good, I generally won't review it. Uh, but for these, um, I actually really like them and I feel they fill a niche in the market. So um, the good thing about these is any drone that uses a phone as a screen, these will be compatible with. Now it's worth saying at this point that if you've got the uh, remote for the Mini 3 that has the uh, screen built into the remote, this will not work obviously because you won't be able to put your phone inside the mask. Um, it's one of the reasons when I got my Mini 3 that I went for the one with a phone because at that time I was using the Magi Mask which was the uh, basically the first version of the Drone Mask 2. Now the thing that makes the Drone Mask 2 so much better than other VR headsets that you put phones in is that the lenses uh, will show you the whole phone in each eye. So you get a much higher quality video than if you were using a cheaper set where they show you half the screen in one eye and half the screen in the other eye. So when you're using a headset like that, I find that the magnification in the eyes actually makes it look a bit pixelated. Whereas when I use the Drone Mask 2, it's a really good quality and it pretty much fills up almost the whole screen. There's like a little bit of black around the edges you can see, but uh, the screen looks really big through the goggles. And again, really high quality. So for me, that's the reason why it feels the niche so well. You're getting a high quality image whilst flying, a good FPV experience, at a cost that's about a third of the price of the DJI, and it's compatible with most of the drones. And uh, that, say the hacks I was using for the Mini 1 and the Mini 2 won't work on the Mini 3, and they'll only work with an Android on the Mini 2. So this is a really good alternative. So when I first did a review on the first Magi Mask, there were two massive issues that uh, they have now addressed. The first one, was that linking the phone to the remote uh, used to have a shorter cable so you would then need to get an extension cable and adapter which is something you'd have to purchase separately uh, to make it work however now they've supplied you with the correct cable so um, it really easily just links straight into your phone now and it comes with the drone so you don't have to go online and search for the appropriate cable it will just come with the drone uh, will come with the masks and then you can just put them inside and you're ready to go now uh, what I would say is it would be worth setting up your DJI app first, uh, getting a drone in the air and then putting the goggles on because before you couldn't touch the screen with your fingers once it was working without unzipping it and it was a bit of hassle. Uh, now they've got these kind of little black pouches here so uh, <laughs> what I can do is I can put my finger in here and touch the screen. Uh, they've got one each side, it does solve an issue but before was something that was really annoying. Now the cable they've supplied to you is the USB-C to a lightning cable, uh, so this would be good for the iPhone. Uh, they've also got a USB-C to USB-C, and uh, if you're going to like a really old version drone like a Mini, uh, they've also got a USB-C adapter to connect to other drones. I'm not actually sure which one this is, it's a bit old now. I'll put a link on the screen here. Or here, might look better. There we go. 
So other than that, you've still got all the benefits from the Magi Mask is pretty much the same. But we've just got a few adaptions which makes it better aimed towards drone pilots. Okay guys, so I'm out with the, um, the Drone Mask 2. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get set up. Uh, because it's harder to use the phone once it's inside the case, I've got the phone, uh, I'm going to set the phone up first and then put the mask on. When you are flying a drone with goggles, you should have a spotter with you in the UK. There's some countries where that may not be needed, but you can see my sister's shadow in the background over there. She's a bit camera shy. <laughs> okay guys, so I've connected the cable that comes with the Drone Mask 2 into the top of the remote, just here, and obviously the other end onto the phone. I'm just gonna put it in and uh, zip it up. I'll put this on now. I was doing this with my daughter uh, yesterday, and it, I thought it was a bit big for her, but there are actually adjustable straps, so it can be changed for different sizes. Okay, and I've lost my connection somehow, it's really annoying. Cool. Now, um, <laughs> I want to fly. I can actually use my fingers inside the mask. It's a bit odd, but um, it's really useful. It says you having to unzip it, and I forgot where my drone is. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to put the drone in the air. Ready. So what I'm going to do, I've got it a decent alike, I'm actually going to change it into a normal mode. It's going to give it more colour and it'll be more fun for flying around. But hey. And the mask comes back and forth, I'm actually going to push it towards my face. <laughs> I just landed it to my face. And uh, I'm going to put it back in. Okay, so one thing I'm finding is that whenever you move, it actually does seem to affect the connection between the phone and the remote, so I'm going to pull the uh, connection out and put it back in. And it usually fixes the problem. There we go, I'm back on now. Okay guys, so I did get in contact with them about this. Um, they said they had not experienced this with over 50 prototypes that they've sent out. It could possibly be a problem with the port in my phone. And if any customers experience any problems, they will talk to them on an individual basis to fulfill their needs. Okay, I'm back off again and I'm going to be careful this time. I'm just going to press the record button and have, start having a, a little look around. I'm actually going to take my glasses off, so it does fit over my glasses and I can see properly. So it is very, it's a very clear screen, as you would expect uh, after using the Magi Mask, and I can see you very clearly. Um, one good thing about this is that you don't see any glare on the screen, and you can see exactly what you're shooting. And you can see, like, I've got a little gap here I want to try to get through. My sensors on the Mini 3 have told me I'm 1.6 meters away and then I'm just going to slide, fly straight through the gap. I feel a bit more confident doing it this way because I can see everything very clearly. I know there's no small twigs or anything around and I can see the branches. Right other way. There you go. So it's a really good, so the mask does help with flying through small spaces because obviously you can see things a lot clearer. Now another thing I find is that when I'm shooting looking at the little screen, I feel happier moving faster Whereas when you're shooting through a bigger screen, or a screen at least that looks bigger, you realise uh, how dizzy it can make you feel. So if I spin quickly side to side, it's really obvious that that's a bad shot. Whereas um, it's not so obvious on a small screen, but it is on a larger screen. So uh, I'm just going to try for a sort of cinematic view across here. And I can see actually I'm still probably going a bit too fast and I want to slide down. And if I get to this speed, I feel like I'm getting a nice shot. So this could be uh, really useful, uh, not just for lining up shots, but also seeing uh, the speed of shots if you want to have them on a larger screen. So I'm gonna go and have a <laughs> keep trying to look as the drone moves its gimbal up and down. Now it's worth saying that if you've got an app like Litchi, uh, you can use your head movement to control the camera on the drone. You could not do that with the, because uh, we're using DJI Fly app, it's not designed for VR, whereas Litchi would be. Now, one question I got asked is, is there a way of getting rid of all the settings uh, written over screen? And there it isn't. So uh, if you're using the DJI Fly app, you will, even though you can see full screen, you can still see all of the extra details, all the record button and all your settings. Uh, personally, I like this. So again, I'm gonna try to do a nice, uh, slow controlled uh, shot around these trees here. So you see, I can actually get a really nice smooth shot with this. It's actually working better than I would have thought. Now, I think those people are going to be going to... It's really weird, I can hear them to my right, but on the screen there to the left. <laughs> so 
I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back around and try flying through again. Now, I could see how this would make some people feel a bit uh, travel sick, or a bit seasick, but it really does feel like you're moving with the drone. Now, let's have a look for a nice gap. It is nice to be able to see exactly where the drone's looking. So I'm just through there. So this, I put this cross on the screen so I can see exactly where I'm going. To the side of it. I'm going to go into slow mode, try to get a nice shot flying through the trees here. I can see there's branches, so there's very thin branches and they're very easy to see on the screen, which is really nice. And I found that if you use the cross as a guide, that's basically the size of the drone. So as long as the edges of those cross aren't touching anything, you should be able to get through nicely. Nice clean shot with the trees. Hey, and there I am. It's like an out-of-body experience. So, what did you think of the goggles? Good. Good. So, what does it feel like when you got the goggles on? I was flying. It feels like you're flying. Was it, was it a good but screen, like on your iPad kind of screen? Yeah. And did it look really big or really small? Really big. Really big. Yeah. And could you see anything else other than the screen? Yeah. What else could you see? Um, you. What, through the screen? Yeah. Okay. Got it? Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it up. Oh, it makes you sure. Make sure dizzy. <laughs> you suffer, you suffer from, um, Whoa. You suffer from, uh, like, seasickness, everything, isn't it? Yeah. Because with, with the older goggles I've got, like, you can literally see every square. Whereas with, I feel with these, it's actually a really good quality alternative. Yeah, the quality. You're gonna be sick, aren't you? <laughs> this will really make you feel. <laughs> uh, so overall, I really think these are a, uh, a great set of goggles. Um, they've got a patent on them, so um, these are going to be the only goggles, along with the Magi Mask and the uh, Drone Mask One, that have that patented lens that shows you the um, the whole phone in each lens. So. Um, these are actually quite a niche in the market because it means you can use your phone for really high quality, but you haven't got to pay sort of 600 pounds or so to get the DJI ones that will show you, um, which will obviously have, which are obviously better quality, but obviously like maybe triple the price. And uh, they're also going to have to have an extra camera on the drone, and that's going to weigh the drone down. So these do actually fit really nice into the market. You've got a nice, high quality product at the lower end of the budget. So I wouldn't say these goggles are cheap, but you're certainly getting the quality and, uh, and they fit nicely in the market at that level. So overall, these have been a good set of goggles. I believe it's going to be something that takes a bit of getting used to if you haven't flown with them before. Um, if you're flying for fun, it's certainly fun. And if you're flying for good photography or good videography, they can be a really useful tool. Uh, it's great fun if you're going out with all the family, like if you're taking your children out or uh, you've got nephews. It could be a really good way of them interacting with it and a really immersive experience and then being able to feel uh, part of it. So on that front, I think they're a really good mask. And I say where they fit into the market, it's, uh, it's obviously a lot of better products and a lot higher quality than some of your £10 VR uh, phone goggles. But uh, it's also about a third of the price of some of the really high-end models like the DJI goggles, uh, digital goggles. And you also have to have extra things like a camera to put on the drone as well. So if you want some goggles that are gonna take you up to the next level, but you can't quite afford um, your really high quality things and all the extra uh, trouble of having to put on all the extra cameras, uh, these are a really great set of goggles to consider. Um, and if you have used these goggles, it'll be really interesting to know your thoughts of them and how you found them and um, if you want to see what other people thought go through the comments and have a look through people's comments uh, hopefully that help you make a decision if these are the right goggles for you